Looks like Vanguard just triple death share position in AMC. Yo, what is good, Lottery Sox fam? So Vanguard Group actually just tripled their share position in AMC, and we can see from the 13F filing. One thing I wanted to cover is that Vanguard will now hold 5% or more of this class of security. So they are going to have a lot of voting rights coming into whatever meeting or whatever vote that has to be voted on, which is going to be a crucial thing to pay attention to. Now, could they be buying these shares to lend them out? Sure they can. However, the fee is not that, you know, attractive per se to purchase shares and lend them out. You could do that with plenty of other tickers and also you could just find a better return somewhere else, a safer return, right? Chances are it's for some sort of rally or run up that we have coming and we're going to talk about that in today's video all i ask you guys to do of course is to please hit the like button it's free it helps me out since i research edit upload record not in that order for you guys and yeah i'm going to update you on everything that there is to update you on we are so close to 20k subscribers by the way so shout out to you guys i love you so much and in yesterday's video we tried to see how many shares my audience had by dropping the diamond emoji in the comments down below and i'm just gonna say there were a lot of shareholders so how vanguard is getting their hands on these shares is beyond me okay this is amc on the weekly time frame all the way up here past 60 dollars is where the on balance volume minimum shows that shareholders are holding the stock and as of right now amc is finally hitting a green week after a while kind of finding a base and based off of what we've been tracking that means that we are about to get a large leg higher. I want to talk about the levels coming forward to watch for AMC because we broke out of one, two trend lines, tested the third macro, closed the day inside of it, and now we're basing on top of it perfectly. Okay, you cannot make this up. So the levels I want you to watch are between 525 and 544 on AMC, and then it's going to bring you to 654, 750, 850, 975, 1135 to 1165. And then once we break over 1135, you have clean jumps up to $16.23 and then $24, so on and so forth on AMC. So these are the levels I want you to watch. And yes, I am currently in AMC calls. If you do want to know my positions, I post them in Discord as soon as I take them. AMC is sitting at 12.16% short interest on the day. Again, we pay attention to it for the trend, 30.47 million shares short according to ortex another thing to note is that ethereum classic is doing extremely well testing this resistance level very very hard here and i'm sure all of you have seen what bitcoin is doing we're going to talk about that later on in the video but as of right now this thing is looking good and for its second leg up it's going to bring it from 26 to 45 dollars amc is going to have a large move as well as gamestop touching on amc numbers real quick Thirty thousand calls compared to fifteen thousand puts expiring in the money so we are winning on the options chain looking good short exempts died down to ninety thousand, which is actually surprising on that green day which that's probably why we saw that green day right but they just kept it in the channel enough and Keep in mind that's still high for a given ticker. The short percentage is somehow surpassing the other days at 40.1. So it's not all smoke and mirrors here, right? Now, Susquehanna Investment Group, SIG, is the biggest AMC short seller. SEC filings and Fintel show Susquehanna recently loaded up on AMC calls in Q4, however. Here is a speculative post about what SIG is up to and why it might be trying to force a squeeze. So Susquehanna may have a strategy to force AMC to actually squeeze and take this with a grain of salt. First, they sell their married puts. Sure, it involves a simultaneous sale of a put option along with shorting the underlying stock that would increase downward pressure on the stock price, pushing it under $4, which we saw AMC drop to 365 on February 5th, 2024. Susquehanna's activity forces AMC into deep value, proposition territory, and triggers an institutional algo buying spree. AMC's price has been moving up since February 5th. Is this institutional buying? Well, we actually know it has been because we've been covering it in recent videos. So, so far, so good. This checks out. The institutional buying will trigger a squeeze in AMC. Susquehanna could then use the remaining call options, 19,889, 100 shares to cover some of their undisclosed short position. Exercising calls and covering will depend on the magnitude of the squeeze, of course, the number of shares shorted, and the availability of additional shares to cover the short. Under this scenario, Susquehanna, the biggest short of AMC, is hedging itself against an AMC squeeze with potentially 198,981 call contracts positioning for an exit from AMC with minimal damage by riding up with retails. Now, this is very interesting, right? 
because Susquehanna right, right here, you can see them loading up on calls. Fintel shows at the end of 2023 that they loaded up on calls as well as put positions. And this could be an interesting strategy to play it to the downside and then have a nice smooth exit on the way up riding it, making double the profits, hedging themselves. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Finally, some fundamental good news for AMC. Deadpool and Wolverine trailer clocks record 365 million views in a single day. These are going to be huge movies that are coming out this year. Touching on GameStop's chart real quick, we broke back in this channel, the sideways channel. I don't like this, I'm not gonna lie. We wanted it to come test a new high around February 23rd, and we only have a few trading days left to get there. And as of right now, it looks like it's going to play through another cycle sell off into this channel okay this channel is going to be between 12.50 and 11 dollars even that is where gamestop would break down into and if gamestop breaks down it's not going to be good for the other meme stocks meme plays however this is unlikely if amc does squeeze which a lot more things are setting up for that narrative for that move so i'm not going to validate anything just yet gamestop is also losing on the options chain slightly 4,000 calls compared to 6,000 puts expiring in the money short exempts extremely low as well now the market has a ton of catalysts coming out this week especially coming into friday that are going to shift it back and forth one way or the other but what stocks are not worried about these catalysts what stocks don't care about any sort of catalyst right now what bubble are we in we are in an ai bubble we are in a tech bubble since February 2023, the Magnificent 7 is up 77%, the S&P 500 up 20%, Russell 2000 up 5 So S&P 500 equal weight up 4%. If you remove the Magnificent 7 from the S&P 500, the index is barely up 5% over the last year. So in other words, if you bought all S&P 500 stocks other than the tech ones last year at this time, you'd be breaking even. The top 10 stocks in the S&P 500 now account for a record 35% of the entire index which is absolutely a scary thing to see and looking at the spy we hit 5,000 we gap down we scaled up today right not quite filling that gap just yet but we may see a slight slight climb now one thing i don't like is that yesterday on the gap down you saw a ton of volume if volume also increases today we may see more downside another retest on 492.50 so watch that level or we may see the gap get filled at 489.20 so watch that level as well otherwise once we see a bullish catalyst watch for a push back up to 5,000 for a retest on it one thing to note across the board this week is just a cool off week right as of right now everything is looking good on the weekly time frame you can have a completely different sentiment the spy came all the way up in this channel after ripping for so long got a cool off here ripped for so long got a cool off here and may just rip to that next level right all the way up to 556 to 590 which would be absolutely nuts this is very possible okay so when you look on the weekly time frame you may get a whole different perspective mara got another push higher up 12 percent on the day if you take a look at the weekly time frame we re-entered this zone and we are fighting to break out of this macro trend line if you look at the daily we actually gapped way above this macro trend line and are basing off of it looking good but there is a gap fill to the downside now this is a crucial zone that we have talked about on mara and you can see it right here just holding in this supply zone if we clean break over this mara has a good shot at entering a brand new trading range and carrying it all the way up to 36 dollars 85 cents i previously have said mara and riot are done and i don't like them coming into the having i'm not gonna lie i still am not playing it if i do play it it's gonna be an in and out play tesla this thing is just trying so hard to save itself it's like you trip and you fall and you're just falling trying to catch try and grab everything around you pull it down and stay on your feet This is exactly what Tesla is doing. It's just running and sliding and falling and trying to pick itself back up, breaking back over this trend line, holding once again. As of right now, we're just watching it. However, if Tesla does climb, it's going to squeeze short sellers out as it is the most crowded short position among US securities, which is absolutely insane. We also know once Bitcoin hits 55K, it's going to liquidate a lot of short positions. One thing I wanted to talk about is Disney. Disney is at a crucial level, breaking above this FIB, testing a macro trend line with a gap fill all the way back down to $99.35. Watch Disney because if this breaks out, it could be a 
nasty break up to 125 like butter. However, this could be a very, very hard rejection for Disney and be bringing it down in the medium term, which could be a good play for puts. Finally, Michael Burry has once again thrown in the towel and closed his short position against semiconductor stocks like Nvidia as well as AMD, and he restructured his portfolio. You can see right here, his holdings are Alibaba, 6.15%, JD, 6.11%, HCA 5.72 and ORCL 5.57. Also, Jeff Bezos just sold another 2 billion worth of Amazon shares, bringing his total since February 7th to $4 billion non-taxed, right? What is this guy doing? Why is he doing it? Is Amazon overvalued or is this dude just working on his bunker? Finally, a couple things to close out the video. America is currently facing an unidentified serious national security threat and Putin may just be creating a vaccine for cancer. He says he is close to doing so. For all guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Make sure to press the top link in the description as well as pinned in the top of comments to download Mumu and make a deposit into your account. Once you open the broker and deposit, you're getting free stocks as well as earning 5.1% AP on your uninvested cash which is absolutely insane guys also make sure to get in the discord it's the second link i'm in there on the daily come talk with me request videos we talk stocks as well as crypto so level up your trading journey it's a copy a month and if you use my mumu link and make a deposit into your broker and get those free stocks and sell them you can probably pay for the discord for quite a bit not financial advice not a financial advisor i love you all lottery stocks out